Ew. What if I got it to come out my nose? <laughs> I literally laughed so hard at that. Hello and welcome back to Conspiracy Theories. My name is Jacob Blaha. And I am the Jerry Brim. And Jerry, what are we talking about this week on Conspiracy Theories? We are talking about Bigfoot this week. Bigfoot. Now, Bigfoot is like one of the top most ancient, mythical, like creatures. local legend creatures that has been roamed the woods. Yeah. Uh, do you know where it's located? They can be like located all over the U.S., any wooded areas. I mean, it's not the top conspiracy theory, but it is one topic to talk about. Oh, so there's like more than one, you think? Yeah. Okay. No! On, on conspiracy theories, because I'm one of the most avid Bigfoot people there is. You're because if the theory of evolution is to reign true, and that is something that is, it, like, if you believe in the theory of evolution, and you feel that the scientists that's the way that humans were created then bigfoot has to be a thing on the chain because there would be no way to connect humans and monkeys if not for bigfoot is not real <laughs> i think we should talk about the notorious picture of the supposedly bigfoot no jerry i want your input do you think this is real or I am hoaxed. very I'm very back and forth about it because if you think about it people don't think about the woods in the earth they don't think they're as big as they are so it's like how could we not know creatures out there but it's just like we've never been to the bottom of the ocean we can't we don't know what's down there we don't know mm -hmm. what's on we don't even know half the stuff that's on land they're discovering new species every every day and it's crazy to me but I think there is a likely chance that something similar to it is out there and I have actually researched this with my dad many times. If you're a fan of Finding Bigfoot, I do watch that. They're have funny. they found him? No, but they have a lot of good evidence. Like, a lot of good evidence. Like, the knocking on trees, throwing rocks at people, um, the howling that they have going on. So, like, they're trying to crack that. Yeah, like, they have, like, apparently Bigfoots have ways of communicating with each other, and they're intelligent enough to know what will happen if they get discovered. And they want... So here's something from that. Like, going off what wait, you just said... Wait, you don't want... Uh, you, um... The Bigfoots with an S, plural, like, there's more than one. I think that's kind of like... Okay, if there was one, you think that there'd be more proof out there. Yeah. Now, I'm going to evolution standpoint and how they have evolved and, like, the intelligence in them. I feel like if there are more than one supposedly Bigfoot, that they would be either all like closer together for communication purposes um and a very 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 few like five or ten because if there's more like a hundreds then you would see obviously more proof out there um i do stand with evolution like evolution and how that may be possible but now with the picture um of bigfoot i feel like that's easily could be hoaxed because it's just an ape-like figure. Now, the thing that would be hard with that is, first of all, the shot's blurry. So you can't really, like, see distinguished, like, like, um, textures features. and, like, the, f yeah, features. Yeah. So they could either have, the person could have hoaxed in, like, bought, like, a very expensive, like, gorilla costume and, like, add little touches to it and then try to put, like, a blur effect with the camera so it's, like, not that, like, easy to recognize as fake or the guy could be terrified because there's this seven foot like ape like creature that's walking on all fours that's not human literally probably like two football fields down and the matter of fact that it spotted him to me just being out in the woods all alone or with like even some friends would terrify me and of course i would run and all in all i personally believe that there is so-called bigfoot i wouldn't say it's called bigfoot i believe it's Sasquatch. But yeah, uh, it's and just another thing is like it's been so many years of people not getting actual like photo or video proof, but just like feet in the ground that people can easily like carve in or like howling that someone again easily make. It's just evidence that could easily be faked. So until there's like more hardcore pictures, facts, like I like witnesses. 
I'm gonna have to say like it's a very very kind of like slim chance of yeah. being there being a Bigfoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is also, um, along with like the evidence part, there in that famous picture that you were talking about, there is a scientist actually did the math work for it, and with the distance that he was away, the figure was actually like almost eight feet tall. So that's why people oh. are very back and forth about it. Oh, okay. For the hoaxing see, part, yeah. because normally How can, people aren't yeah, eight feet eight, tall, you eight know. Feet tall. And that big shoulders. They're very known for like mm. big shoulders, big figure. Um, people believe, or like the people that spend their lives researching Bigfoots, they believe that they are smart enough in the nighttime or when they sleep. They sleep by water. And not almost like underwater, but they sleep in the water. It's hard to explain. It's, and like they bury, like they have families, and then when someone dies, they bury it so they can't like have the, any evidence. Like the Sasquatch buries. Yeah. Like people think that's one of the reasons why it's so hard. And I don't know where that evidence came from, but I know I talked about it with my dad, and he was like, it's crazy how much stuff is out there to research mm -hmm. these figures that we've never seen before, like in person. But then again, there have also been so many sightings about them. And it just, it's weird to think about. It's just like how we've never had a full picture of an alien before. We have videos of aliens, but how do we know it's true? Mm -hmm. But we believe in aliens, at least some people, and some people believe in Bigfoot, even though we don't have, like, solid proof that they and exist. And that's another thing. Maybe, like, the so-called government, you know, with, like, the Illuminati and aliens, how people think the government's related, maybe they're also tied to Bigfoot. Like, they don't want this to go public. Maybe they just want, like, this to stay away from the public's eye before they learn more about it because nothing in the in history has ever come close to this people think it goes from like fish to monkeys to gorillas and then humans now like hearing that maybe from that fish to gorillas to humans there could be a split and maybe that gorilla could turn into like a caveman kind of like a caveman but like more with the monkey gene yeah. in it. It has, like, the shape and, like, the height of it, but, like, the hair, maybe, like, the habits of a gorilla, mm -hmm. you know? There's actually one of the conspiracy theories with Bigfoot is um, how the government secretly removed burnt Sasquatch's corpse from Mount St. Helens after the 1980 eruption. Following the disaster, a few witnesses reported seeing federal helicopters carrying off the charred remains of several Sasquatches from the area. Prior to the eruption, Mount St. Helens had already been a hotspot for supposed ape men sightings since the 1920s. <laughs> um, there's just so much out there about these Bigfoots that people, so please tell us what you believe, and if you think Bigfoots are real, please be sure to comment, and if you have any other theories to talk about, be sure to tweet at us at the Thunderbeat. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning into this week's conspiracy theory. I hope this opened your mind a little bit to some of the things that might be out there that we don't know about. Definitely, I'm gonna go like research more about this, to be honest. Bye. Hi, I'm Miss Mullins and I am a new teacher here at Bellevue West. I teach 11th and 12th grade 